Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek on the early one I seek this group to study in prayer line. Hallelujah on this 24th day in May. I'm 2022. Y'all, let's uh let's get it in. It's uh it's foundation uh class, right? Uh you know the the principles of salvation. Principles of salvation get a little deep, y'all. But let's go back to Hebrew six. <clears throat> right. Six and and one. <clears throat> As y'all are chiming in, Paquita, good to see you in here. Uh son, it's been a while. Good to see. Good to see you in here. Always a pleasure. Uh uh Fee uh, is up in here and uh, Trish Johnson and Warren Williams, bless you, sir. I'm at a Yahoo in here, Yakuwan, Yosef, Elder Yosef, my mama, Kalai, Mother Joyce in battle. We got Stone up in here, Al Mal. Uh, my pal is up in here as well, Trisha Johnson. Uh, as y'all chime in, feel free to get your tag game on. Those of you that's willing to share your platforms uh, with the word this morning, feel free to push the share button. <laughs> <clears throat> algorithm helps from what I understand by pushing the like button and love button I don't know Young Faithful Barbara's in the building with the sun emoji hallelujah that a yahoo got his tag game on here we go <clears throat> look what they say <clears throat> therefore leaving the principles here we go again. Foundation. It puts things in its perspective, right? Leaving the principles, the elementary teachings, the basic teaching about salvation. We're supposed to have been left that. Unless you're brand new. If you just get into this thing, uh, you're supposed to be dealing with the milk of the word and just to keep things in its proper perspective, the milk of the word is repent. Stop sinning. Like I say, we show love to give people excuses, right? Who is that, Alex? What's up, man? Alex Mejia in the building. Good to see you in here, man. Uh, Jeff Brown, what's up with it, baby? Good to see you in here as well. Hallelujah. Yeah, we in Hebrews uh, 6, uh, Alex, teaching about the foundation of salvation. Dave Alhock, good to see you in here, sir. Bless you. Shalom, shalom. <laughs> My dude came to see about me. Check in with the most high. Uh, Mark Logan, good to see you in here as well, sir. <clears throat> but look what it's like. It says, therefore, leave it. I'm going to call you, Alex, because I'm about to do another one. So expect a call from me. <clears throat> but here we go. Look what it says. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of the Messiah, the principles. See, again, when we, when we dive in this word, right, and we start rightly dividing it the right way, I'm not talking about a Catholicism right now. I'm not talking about the reinterpretation of truth. I'm talking about the truth. If, if, if we understand the fact that, uh, like the level of trouble the earth is in, yeah, we, we, we're on another catastrophic destruction type of, it's bad right now. Hallelujah, it's bad right now. And so those of us that can see it, the writing on the wall, uh, then it it's time for soul searching to see why it's so bad. You know, why is there influx of sin and lawlessness 
and moralist behavior. Why is that? Like, you know, even in my generation, when I was coming up, it wasn't the best, but it sure wasn't like it is now. The level of, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, the love of many is wax cold. The love of stone hearted, uh, uh, heartlessness is at an all time high. The level of sexual perversion is at an all time high. Right, right. Really, the cup of iniquity is spilling, right? And I said all that to say this. When we start diving in the Bible and rightly dividing it, I'm not talking about just diving in here, grabbing a scripture or two. I'm talking about, uh, you know, getting the, and all that getting, get understanding, getting an understanding about what the creator is saying to his creation, the people, right? Look what it say. Therefore, leaving the elementary teachings or the principles, the principal teaching of the doctrine of the Messiah. And see, we learned in, in, in Corinthians, right? Second Corinthians 5 uh, uh, and, and 16, when it says, we don't know each other after the flesh no more. Leslie Sutton, good to see you in here. But we don't know each other after our human nature no more, right? And then it went on to say, even the Messiah, we don't know him after the flesh no more because the the, the reason why uh, he was born is because uh, for the birth of the word. Uh, 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 Beverly, good to see you in here. Good morning. But the, the 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 word, the word that Adam, when it gets in the beginning, became a human being, the object of the rescue. Humanity is the object of the rescue. Humanity is the fallen uh, 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 species. We're not perfect. We're not righteous. We're not good. We might do some good stuff, but all in all, we got flaws. Denise Wilkins, good to see you in here. So we're in need of a rescue. We're not, we don't walk in love. We don't walk in forgiveness on the level we should. So we're in need of rescue. We're, we're in need of something happening to perfect us because look at the condition of the world. Look at the condition of the people. Right? So the Messiah, right? The principle of the Messiah is the fact that the word became a human being to be reconciled to us. The human being did his job, lived the word perfectly, never sinned against the most high, then died on that tree for you and me, the torture stake, died on that, on that, on that struos in the Greek, rose again with all power, and then baptized the word that was in him back inside of us, that we too might be transformed and changed into his image. Are you with me? Banks, good to see you in here. Are y'all with me? We leave in the principles of the doctrine. Now, <clears throat> here we go. It gets a little deep, though elementary, but uh, elementary rather. But listen, we believe that once you grow in him, you're, you start learning to walk away from sin. But what I'm telling you, according to the real true word, the first move we make is to denounce sin. I'm not saying we know all the sins that we might have been committing because we don't. I'm going to say we don't. But the first move was a state of mind of a willingness to walk away from all sin. Not to say that you did, but you're willing to. That's the first move to salvation. That when somebody come to you with the basore, they call it a gospel, right? When somebody come with you with the gospel and the word come and accuse us of being sinners, the believer, you know what they do? They, 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 they confess with their mouth that, that the most high is master of their life. They accept the fact that the Messiah died on that torture stake for their sins, rose again with all power, and they confess with their mouth that they want to be saved. The first move is to repent, and repent means to turn from. Repent, you're turning from sin. You're turning from the evil nature we were all born in. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. We turn from that. Teresa, good to see you in here. Trenda, good to see you in here as well. Good morning, Boca Tov. But we turn from that mentally. We're a believer. We're turning to him. Now we're born again. It wasn't the water that caused you to be born again, being baptized. 
That's a like figure. That's like after you're dead, you have a funeral. After you receive him, you have a, a spiritual funeral, a delight figure, a baptism. But what happened really, what really happened was that we confessed our sins before him in our hearts. And you don't have to name them one by one, but we confessed our sin. We recognized the fact that we were a sinner. And now we want to change, be transformed. And at that moment, that's when we turn from sin. At that moment. Now, when you're growing in him, you learn more about sin. You learn about more about uh, uh, the things you've been doing wrong. You learn more about how to walk in what you already did. Because the touchdown was the state of mind. I'm done with my sinful nature. I'm now going to follow my creator. Because if you understand the fact that the wages of sin is death, if you understand that, because everybody don't understand that. If you understand, good morning, Brianna, but if you understand the fact that the wages of sin is death, you want to run from it now. You want to run towards your creator. You want to run towards the creator of all. Oh, it's the truth. So here we go. I'm going to try to scoot further, y'all. Therefore, leaving the principles, the elementary. Therefore, leaving the principle of the doctrine of the Messiah. Let us go on to perfection. Now we're growing up. Because if you look at perfection in the Greek, right, it's maturity. We're growing up in him. We're going to get better and better. Tim Sight, good to see you in here, man. Alameda in the building. We, we chiming in. Y'all listen. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrines of the Messiah, let us go on to perfection. Yeah, grow up. Right? Let's grow up. Yeah, let us go on to perfection. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works. You know what that means? Look, listen, listen. This is real talk. And I'm sad. It's not enough pastors to teach this. But the truth of the matter is, I'm, look what the Bible says. I'm going to read it in the NIV so we can stay with it. But look, it said, therefore, therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about the Messiah and be taken forward to maturity, not laying again the foundation of repentance from acts that lead to death. That's sin, y'all. That's going against the creator's will for your life. That's walking in disobedience. Those are acts that lead to death because the wages of sin is death. When we theologically give ourselves excuses to sin, it's because pe preachers and teachers, a foundation of religion has been lying to us and reducing the standard, reducing the responsibility for true salvation. Because if any man be in the Messiah, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I have a responsibility to undergo the transformation process. That is my responsibility. You should see me. First, first move is willingness to denounce sin. Then the second move is learning more about sin because the more I learn about it, the more I'm going to denounce it. Therefore, causing me to grow into maturity. People can see the difference in me. And every time you see me, you should see a growth. I know more about him. I've been studying his word and I'm living better and better. I'm learning how to be exercised in forgiveness. I'm learning how to be exercised in love. I'm, 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 I'm learning how to love his people and move in and out of his people with wisdom and charisma. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. The, the only charisma that can only come from his spirit. So listen, therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about the Messiah. And the elementary teachings about the Messiah is we're focusing on the son, the body that the word lived in when the body was only here to reconcile us with the word. That's why when, he, when the word was in the body and people called him good, he said, why are you calling me good? There's none good but the most high. Because the reconciliation is back with the voice of the most high, the voice of our creator. Now he's able to dictate to, to us. He's now able to tell us what to do, which leads to our salvation. I'm trying to tell you something. Re true salvation is reconciliation with the word of the most high. So we leaving that. 
Now we're going on to perfection. And now we're not laying, again, the foundation of repentance. Meaning, every time we turn around, we're turning from sin, turning from sin, turning from sin. We already did that. Now we should be being exercised in truth and in love and in righteousness, in his word, and, and growing forward to maturity. That's what this is saying, right? Yeah. Foundation of repentance of, of, of acts that lead to death and of faith towards the most high. Instruction about the cleansing right. That's baptism, y'all. And the laying on of him. I'm going to go back to KJV. Second verse. Look what it says. Bakita. Hallelujah. Good to see you in here. Look. Second verse. Of the doctrine of baptism and of laying on of hands and the resurrection of the dead and the eternal judgment. Now, y'all know over the last several weeks, I've talked on the doctrine of the baptisms and the doctrine of laying on of hands and the doctrine of the resurrection of the dead and the doctrine of eternal judgment. Y'all with me? So watch this. Then in the third verse, it said, this we will do if the most high permit. Right? Um, what is he permitting that we will do? What, what, what is the third verse talking about? Back to the top. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of the Messiah, let us go into perfection. That's his will for our life. That we grow up. Um, like, like, see, I'm not talking about regular church. I'm not talking about, oh my goodness. Um, Jeremiah talked about a group of pastors that went, but the most high said I never sent them. And one of the attributes of an unsent pastor is they're big sinners themselves when they should be the most mature around. Elders should be the most mature. Elders should be the ones that's living an exampled life. Now we got an influx of pastors that will call themselves a sinner. And they'll say, I'm a sinner just like you. I'm no different than you. Well, then you need to come out the pulpit and sit down then. Real talk. And we all need to put an ad on Craigslist to find a pastor. Because why are you up there if you're not walking in maturity? But that's based on the level of false doctrine that's being perpetrated through uh, the Christian community, the Catholicized community. I won't get into uh, the, the deep levels of Catholicism when it comes to the worship of, of other people, saints and all that. They don't deserve worship, nor does Mary. Even when Mary and his brothers and sisters came, uh, the disciples said to the Messiah, uh, your mother and brothers and sisters out there looking for you. He said, who is my mother, my brother, my sister, but him to do the will of the father. She, she don't get no plateau like that. He, the, 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 he, the Messiah said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. Why are we deifying other people? And even when, we, when, we, when he was on earth and, and, and the disciples tried to uh, uh, deify him or other people came by trying to deify him, he said, why are you calling me good? There's none good. He didn't even want the recognition like that because the real salvation is the reconciliation with the voice of the Most High. Because the most high created mankind, we fell away from who created us. We became hard-headed to who created us. We don't listen to who created us. He gave us free will. We took free will, will and ran and sided with the spirit of darkness. <clears throat> That's why we in the mess we in now. That's why so much lawlessness now. That's why so much rape and murder now, death and wars. There's rumors of wars because these people are liars. All, all, a lot of these shootings and all the stuff they say happened and didn't happen. They Hollywood, they're liars. And they got expected in. Total control. They doing all kind of stuff. Now, now we're in the age of viruses. We're in the age where, where they plan to stick you with all kind of stuff. They plan to stick you from now on, which will give them the power to, to say who live and who die. And when you die. They can give you a dose that don't kill you. They also can give you one that will. And people so deceived, they just going to line up, keep getting stuck, and then tell, until they out of luck. <laughs> That's what they want, total control. You, you ain't going along with them. That's why we say forget them. We rolling with the creator. Are y'all with me? But look, third verse, y'all. This, this we will do if y'all permit. 
Do what? Go on to perfection. What is the who who's gonna go on to perfection? The true believer. Because the true believer is one that can easily admit that we're all born in sin. We're all sinners. But the true believer is not satisfied with being a sinner. We're in the influx of pastors that picked up a theological position that's perpetrating that they teach the people. Rhonda Pond, they're good to see you in here. But they're, they're teaching the people false doctrine. They're, they're teaching the people uh, that, that, that we should be sinners. We're born sinners and we should be sinners. When the, the truth of the matter, we're supposed to repent from sin. That's the first move to salvation, to turn from it. Now, us in our fallen nature, we can't, we can't stay from sin without him. But that's why he baptized his spirit inside of us. That's why we can quote the scripture, great is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Because it's the power of his word living inside of us, producing life in us, giving us grace, the unearnable ability to be transformed into his image. It's not my power that, that I'm not running around here drunk and high and cussing no more, not willing to cheat on my wife. That's not my power. Straight up, got me preaching all these times. This, that's not my power. I'm I'd have quit a long time ago. <clears throat> but but I believe him to shower down the power. <clears throat> I'm I'm trusting in his grace, giving me the unmerited favor, the, the 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 unearnable ability to walk according to his word. He's taking me through the transformation process. It's my job to believe him and to trust him that he that began a work in me is go finish it. I believe he's going to take me to the finish line as I continue to be perfected, not laying again the foundation of dead works that lead to death. I'm trusting him for that. I shouldn't have to apologize every day for the same thing. I should be growing. You got a child in school, you expect them to graduate and go to the next grade. Walking in perfection, you're perfect as a sixth grader. Got good grades, perfect attendance. Your citizenship, your attitude is right. You're perfect as a sixth grader. No, you're not a seventh grader. You're a sixth grader, but you're walking in perfection. And then once you go to the seventh grade, the struggle is on. But then you end up being a perfect seventh grader. Then they pass you to the eighth grade. Talk to me. And that's exactly what salvation should look like. You should be becoming more and more like your creator, being renewed, going through the mind renewal process based on you trusting and believing the word, studying to show yourself approved. A workman unto the most high. Yeah, rightly dividing the word of truth. Need not be ashamed. Yeah, because, because that's what happens in the life of a true believer. I'm not talking about somebody religious. Uh, 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 D D Donnell, good to see you in here. Not, not being, I, 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 I ain't got time to be religious. I don't, I don't have time to have a form of it. A form of yaliness denying the power thereof. No, I need the true word and I want to be transformed. And we all should be in the washing machine process getting better and better. And it's not because we're trying to be good people. We're his children. We're not trying to be, a uh, 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 charity people. We're his children. Will you do charity? Yes, but you ain't doing charity to be a good dude, a good gal. You're, you're being rescued from what causes death. You're being rescued from destruction and damnation that's sure upon this earth. It's here. We're living in the most perilous time. We ain't never seen the stuff we're facing now, ever. Now we got to find out why is it happening. The source of it is sin. The source of it is we have sided with the enemy and don't even know it, that we're hecka religious, but not too many of us have true relationship. This ain't nothing but a foundation class, y'all. This is a found. Look, let me tell you something else. Again, I love to use Paul. They call him Paul, right? I love to use Paul because he was a highly decorated religious dude, according to Judaism. He was a highly decorated dude, and from his religious standpoint, when the Messiah came, he couldn't stand the Messiah nor his followers. He thought they was going against the Most High, so he sought to kill them and to have them thrown in prison because he was religion, religious. He didn't have a true relationship. But when true relationship came, that's when the true relationship started. When the word finally knocked him off his donkey on the road to Damascus, he was on the road to Damascus. And the word stopped him in his track. That's when the true transformation process happened. 
Was he one that respected the most high? 100%. Was he one that loved the most high? 100%. But was he in error? 100%. When did his true uh, salvation start? When his true transformation process start? When did that happen? When the word knocked him off his religious horse? When, a, when, a, when the real level of truth hit him, regardless of what he was taught, who he was taught by, because the same people he was he was raised with in Torah, in the Tanakh, in the Old Testament, the same people that he was raised with were the same people swearing they was going to kill him as soon as he really met truth. He became the oddball. Because wide is the road that leadeth to destruction, but straight and narrow is the path that leadeth to life, and few there be to find it. Folks ain't looking for that. Hey, hey, Tim, you see Alex in there hollering at you, huh? Alex Mejia in here, man. But y'all with me? Yeah, straight up. Listen, so here we go. Uh, uh, the doctrine of the baptism of the laying on of hands. We did all that, right? Wretched of the dead and, and, and eternal judgment. And this we will do if the most high permit. Did you know no weapon formed against you going to prosper? Oh, always a pleasure, man. Get with me anytime. I, I'm, I'm still planning to call you, too, just so you know. I'm planning to call you later today. But listen to me. And this we will do if the most high permit. <laughs> listen. He permits for the believer. That's who we give permission to. Yeah. He permit. He permits for the believer. Yeah, that's what this we will do if the most high permit who he who does he not permit it for? Huh? Who does he not permit it for the unbeliever? Did you, this is a believer's race. Believe me, this is a believer's race. One hundred percent. This, this 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 salvation is for the believer because I'm going to tell you what the believer is going to do. They're going to forsake their humanity. As tough as that might sound, we know now that that's the necessity. We weren't taught that. We were taught we only human and we're helpless sinners, which is true. But they left out the most pertinent part, which is we got to forsake our human nature. Omar, what's up with it, Jacob? You got you got the uh what what is I forgot what you called yourself with the 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 the, uh, the cook the chef Mr Barbecue is open again man what you doing I seen you on that grill man doing your thing thing listen to me this he's permitting it for the belief third verse y'all Hebrews six and three Omar just so you know but but look <clears throat> and this we will do. If the most high permit, this, this, this we will do. If the most high permit, who do he permit it to? The believer, those that's really willing to forsake their program. Every last one of us got a, 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 a program that don't line up with y'all. I said all of us do. And we got to submit to the word every day. That's why Paul said, I die daily. I die daily to my program because we all human beings. We're all a fallen, a part of the fallen species. All of us have sinned and come short. All of us was born in sin. Period. And that, and every time we wake up, that evil nature wake up with us. Right? And we got to mortify it. Now the foundational of scriptures, watch this. The doctrines, the principal doctrines of the Messiah, right? Let us go into perfection, not laying uh, again a lifestyle that causes us to need the Messiah because now we have him. So there's no need for us to continue in sin that grace may abound. That's what uh, Romans the sixth chapter said. Yah forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? 
So we're supposed to not be laying a foundation of sin. I'm trying to tell you something. Real talk. Listen, you no longer have permission. If you belong to the most high, you do not have permission to live in sin no more. And do you know how many people literally don't know that? I said, do you know how I really mean that? You know what's sad? Right now on the sound of my voice, some of y'all don't know that. Some of y'all would question that right now as I'm telling you that. You don't have permission to sin. I'll tell you, I do not have permission to sin. No, I'm not supposed to be laying a foundation of repentance from dead works. A foundation, that means that's my lifestyle. And then, and then what, what adds insult to injury, I've been taught this garbage, so now I'm confessing that I'm a sinner saved by grace. I'm confessing that. So I'm confessing that I'm a sinner, giving myself permission to walk in sin. Yet, if we really knew the true definition of grace, we would understand grace is the ability to stop sinning. So what we be saying is an oxymoron and don't even know it. But that's based on the Catholicized interpretation, interpretation of scripture. And it's everywhere. So you go in this room full of sinners and you leave with some weed and a date to go commit fornication or adultery with somebody in the church. <laughs> Because it ain't nothing but a group of good singers and musicians. Yeah. It ain't nothing but another concert. A concert where you're going to exchange information and end up uh, getting getting uh, laid up, laid up with the bishop, laid up with the, with the pastor, lay, laid up with the first lady, lay, laid up with the deacons. Get into an argument with the, with the, with, with the choir leader who's a, who's a dude with, with a beard wearing pink with a little wig on switching as he as he hopping around prancing he hopping around he hopping around like the two fairy prancing around leading the choir working on they finna put an album out you mad because 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 you want to play the saxophone for him because you used to play for uh teddy pendergrass now you want to <laughs> Okay, I stopped the story, y'all, but y'all get what I'm saying. <clears throat> a group full of sinners up under the influence of a doctrine, we sinners saved by grace. Like I said, I went to, uh, uh, <laughs> I'll be saying some stuff. I, I went to, uh, I ain't going to say who, but I went to church. I went to a church. I had a reason to go, y'all. I went to the church and the pastor jumped on the mic and said in front of all these people, you cannot out sin grace. I verbally said, man, that's not true. I couldn't hold it. I caused a little scene. It wasn't a big one. Only the people around me heard me. <sighs> And one of my loved ones looked at me and said, it is true. They don't listen to me. It is true. I just said, wow. Then I quoted, uh, 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 take heed, at least you fail the grace of Yah. What do you do with that scripture? Be careful before you fail. I said, how can you fail it if, 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 you, can, if you can't out sin grace? And they told me, yes, you can, but they, but they, they, they couldn't answer the question. I said, can you answer the question then? What does that, what does that scripture mean? And then we made a date to talk later, and that ain't never happened because it can't happen because it's not true. But we got, come on, y'all. And this we will do if y'all permit. Do what? Go on to perfection not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and a faith towards the most high. To have a faith towards the most high, first move. Repenting, first move. You grow into that? Nope, first move. You can grow through in that, but that's the first move. Stop sinning. Y'all notice how uh, John was in the wilderness preaching. Did y'all check him out? Yakawan. He was he was in the Yakana. He was in the um he was in the wilderness preaching the corn Isaiah forty right. The voice of one crying in the wilderness. What was his message? Stop sinning. 
And all the people was coming from around all of Judea, Jordan, Jordan, all coming to his baptism, confessing their sins. Denouncing their sins is really what it was. Confess admitting their sins, but they denouncing it. This was before the Messiah came. Because again, shadows and types of the responsibility, Michelle, always good to see you in here, sis. But this is the, the what people don't understand is the very foundation of salvation. The very foundation of salvation is to stop sinning, a.k.a. repent. That is the very foundation. That is not nothing you eventually do. That's the very first move to start your salvation journey. Are people taught that? No. That's why they go around saying, I'm a sinner saved by grace. And they really believe that because that's what's being taught. People, look at the look at the church world now. They're taught we're sinners saved by grace. That's why they live in sin and still call on Jesus. Because they're taught that and they believe it. But when we look at this scripture, and we talk about foundation, right? When we look at Hebrews, the sixth chapter, it defines what they thought. Oh, we're going to work this a little bit more. i got a few more minutes, so we're going to work it. Listen, six and one again. Therefore, leaving the principles, the elementary teachings about the Messiah, right? Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrines of the Messiah, let us go on to perfection. We're going on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, not laying a foundation of sinning that will force you to have to repent again. Say, so don't lay that foundation. We should be going on to perfection. We should be growing in love, growing in his word. We should be children walking in obedience to his word because the wages of sin is still death. To prove it further, another thing we're not taught in the church, listen to me, is the fact that we're looking at his death, burial, resurrection, and they're not taught that we need to be experiencing the death, burial, resurrection ourselves. And that is taught in Hebrews, the sixth chapter. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Yah forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah I, 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 I quoted it, but let's go to it because I'm about to wrap up anyway. This foundation class, y'all, this ain't number foundation elementary teachings that I apologize when I go to church. I cringe when I hear the false doctrine. It just bothers me, Don Dean. But listen, look what it say. I'm going to read it. Ain't no better proof than the word. Look what this say. Here we go, 6 and 1. It says, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Yah forbid. The answer is no. No. Listen. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? The Most High said no. Catholicism would say, how oh, are we sinners? This said no. I'm going to read it again. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? No. Yah forbid is no. And the no came from Yah, the creator. No. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Did y'all hear that? The answer is no. We should not be laying again the foundation of repentance, meaning I'm always repenting from sin when I should be walk I should have walked away from sin and I should be going in in grace. I should be growing in his word. I should be I'm trying to tell you the answer is no. Second verse, Yah forbid. How shall we the dead to sin live any longer therein? So then the third verse says, Know ye not that so many of us that were baptized into the Messiah, we were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him. We love to talk about his death, burial, resurrection. No, we're buried with him into death. Look what else it say. That like as the Messiah was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. What's the newness of life? Walking away from sin, 
Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? The answer is no. Is y'all with me? Fifth first, for if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we should be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Oh, I'm trying to help Jeff. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Henceforth is moving forward. We should not serve sin. In the seventh verse is the kick in the head. For he that is dead is freed from sin. We, we, it's our death, burial, and resurrection as well. Back to Hebrews 6, y'all. It's our death and burial, it's our death, burial, and resurrection as well. And y'all tell the truth in Catholicism, in church, wasn't you taught that it was his? Believe on what he did? Wasn't we? Tell the truth. Wasn't we? Or aren't we? Some of us still being taught that. Aren't we? Oh, it's the truth. It's the truth. We taught that, and that's why we still cuss. That's why we smoke a cigarette. Yeah. That's why we'll, come on, y'all, we'll twerk. Come on, talk to, that's why we'll commit adultery. That's why, say one more thing, and I'll still beat your dog on behind. That's why. Because we're taught that in church. We came to learn about the most high, but Catholicism is in the church house. Yeah, straight up. Oh, we're sinners saved by grace. You come on down, bro. Sit down with us. Come on, anybody, is there internet here? Wireless connection, I'm finna go on Craigslist. We finna find a pastor. Cause this joker, I'm a sinner just like you. Come on down, bro. Come on, come on out that pulpit. You waiting for an offering, you get your dirty, come on down here, I ain't giving you nothing. This money we're going to put in to find us a pastor because this joke up in here tripping. <laughs> sinner. You. I'm a sinner. I heard, I heard him say it. I'm telling you. I, I, I ain't no different than you. It's by the grace of God I'm up here. No, it's by our foolishness we let you be up there. Come on down. Come on, sit on down here. And, and, bring, and bring that uh, 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 that twitching man that's leading the choir. You get him and bring him down here to sit that sit that joker down. Right around here, flying around here. <laughs> Somebody lost a tooth. There's a tooth fairy in here. Maybe he'll give you $20 for your tooth. But you come from up, you come from in front of that choir switching, bro. Butt aimed all at the audience. Got a bunch of cats with, with feather shawls on in the front seat watching you direct the choir as you as you twerking and prancing. Brother, come on down. I'm confused. Oxymore got a beard and a little wig on. I'm confused. I didn't come to the house of prayer for that. Come on down, Tooth Fairy. Got a little, what, what them little man purse full of t teeth. <laughs> Break bread, go, go, for, yeah, little kids in here got two for me. Give them some money and sit your, you sit down. <laughs> you sit down. No, go to the bathroom, men's bathroom. Don't go in the women's bathroom. Go to the men's bathroom and take that pink off, pal. You and the pastor. And this we will do. I'm finna go, y'all. This is the third verse, right? And this we will do. Listen, if y'all permit. This is what we gonna do. What we gonna do? I'm out of time, y'all. What we gonna do? And this we will do if y'all permit. Do what? Go on to perfection. Back to the first verse. Did you know the doctrine of baptisms and of laying on of hands and the resurrected dead and eternal judgment? Do you know those doctrines is to help us do what? Be perfected. Stop sinning. Did you know why I'm preaching? To help us do what? Stop sinning. Did y'all know that? Do you know why we're assembling? Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as we see the day approaching, why are we assembling? So we can go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of, uh, 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 of repentance from dead work, from living in sin. That's why I'm preaching. That's why it's the baptism and laying on of hands and resurrection of the dead and, and eternal judgment. All these doctrines is teaching you 
to stop sinning. Doctrine of baptism is funerals, spiritual funerals. That's what that's what the the, the, the water cleansings is all about. Being, being funerals, like being baptized. You, you are what happened in your heart is happening in in the spirit. Y'all hear me, Michelle, uh, Jeff, Tim? Y'all with me? Matter y'all listen. The baptism, being baptized into his death to rise up to walk in the news. That's the baptisms, right? Laying on of hands is the transfer of gifts that we'll use to help other people repent. See, the the presbytery laid hands on me. I just don't have a Facebook, y'all. I just I didn't anoint myself, call myself, and now I'm out here preaching. I went through the ranks. Yeah, I went through the ranks. And then, and then the elders with an S laid hands on me to, to impart gifts and also impart the authority to walk in the apostolic calling. The laying on of hands. Why, why, why is there apostolic calling and why is there transfer of, 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 of anointings and powers? Ephesians said for the perfecting of the saints. So we can grow up and walk in perfection. I'm trying to tell you something. Uh, the doctrine of the laying on of hands and the resurrection of the dead. That's being born again. What we just read in he, Romans the sixth chapter, that it's our death, burial, and resurrection too. The resurrection of the dead. These are all doctrines so we can go on to perfection. I'm trying to show you this. And eternal judgment. This is the punishments. And this is, listen, I'm going to go, but did y'all know that mankind has already been eternally judged. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that humanity is going to hell? Did y'all know that? That's why you got to be born again. Because everybody that's born again is finna get the judgment of the first Adam. Emmett Lil John, always a pleasure, man. Mankind as a species, we're a wicked species. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. I'm closing, but I'm telling you something. Don't look around at people like they good. You know how many people I didn't dealt with? How many people didn't lie to me, stab me in the back, smile to my face, and then rob me, spit in my face, smile on my face and talk behind my back? You know how many people didn't did that to me? Well, let me tell you this. Do you know how many people did that to you? Do you know how many people doing that to you right now? People is wicked. You got some people around you that sleep with your children. You got people around you that sleep with your husband, sleep with your wife. People are wicked. Is you crazy? You think people good because they smiling? Because they got a good dental plan? Fast food of dental is what? Western dental? The McDonald's of the dentist? Listen. Got a good smile. <laughs> Don't you? People are wicked. And they're going to hell. That's why you got to be born again. First Adam blew it for all mankind and look at us. Don't front. Thought I was good. I ain't good. The Messiah himself said, why are you calling me good? I'm going to tell you the same thing. You crazy if you think I'm good. I, I have to denounce me. And if you're going to be saved, you got to denounce you too. And in order for us to do what's right, we cannot be led by the flesh. You cannot do what you want to do. You ain't living by how you feel. You trying to kill how you feel so you can be real with the most high. Oh, come on. Talk back to me. Any of us to do what y'all said do because you learned how to kill your flesh and do what he told you to do. You don't do righteousness because you righteous. You ain't righteous. We take on the righteousness of the, the most high. <laughs> we ain't fronting. Yeah. Please. Please, man, don't get me to talking. I guess you already got me talking, huh? I'm just saying. Let me calm down so I can go. I got to go. I really, ooh, I'm over time. Let me go. Uh, and this we will do. Third verse. Listen. And this we will do, if y'all permit. Period. This is what we going to do. We're going to do what? Walk in perfection. And we're not going to be running around here sinning no more. We're done with that. Did y'all hear the lesson? I pray it was a blessing. <laughs> That's it. Let's pray. No, I got to go, Jeff. I'm out of time, man. I, 
Oh, I feel like it. I feel it too, but I'm going to stop. Oh, I want to keep going. Let me pray. Let me hear him pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. Humble to know how glean in the truth of your word. Thy word is truth. Continue to illuminate, quicken your children, transform us by the renewing of our mind. Give us truth on a level, on an elementary level that we understand. Give us that understanding that only you can give. And when you give it, we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor. We'll give you the credit, not only now, but forever. And we'll obey. In the match name of Yahushua, we help me pray. Hallelujah. In the mind. That was the lesson, y'all. And I feel it. I, boy, I'm going to have to check this out. Uh, boy, I'm going to talk to my children in the car, you know, and give them some too. Give them some more. But at the end of the day, that was a lesson. Thank everybody to push the, um, the uh, y'all be tagging. I love that. Y'all keep tagging and sharing so that more people can get truth because we run out of time, y'all. We got to get this truth out. So y'all push the share button and all that. And I'd like to thank everybody that financially supports this ministry because you help us do what we do. We are on the streets with it. That's what I was talking to Alex about, Mahaya, just a minute ago. We, 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 we bring people together and I pay for it, just so you know. Yeah, straight up. But we bring people together and we love on Michelle. Be with Michelle, they got some good food. They got this Jamaican restaurant. Boy, you tell my feet. We was out just a couple of days ago. I see Michelle bring the food and I ate some and it was good. Anyway, we out in the streets loving on people, loving on people, showing ourselves friendly so that the word will go forth. That's my my mission, that the word go forth. How are you going to help people if you don't love on and be with them? Right. That's what we're doing, uh, that the word will go forth, you know. That more people will chime in and hear more truth. Is that right, Tim Sight? I'm trying to tell you. All right. Love y'all. Y'all continue to pray for me. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Uh, again, thank everybody for financial support the ministry. And um, if y'all want to uh, talk a little bit more, pray and, and give what you got the word. All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Right on, Emmett. Man, I ain't seen you in so many years. It would be good to see you, Emmett. Long time, man. Uh, I know y'all remember Emmett Little John, don't y'all? Did y'all know my boy, my boy from Alameda? Yeah, y'all know him. Anyway, love y'all. Uh, those of you who want to chime into the line, chime in. Let's continue to pray for one another. Y'all be Baruch and Baruch Shalom. I'm gone.